Hey guys, today I am doing my full coverage acne foundation and whatnot routine. If you want to see how I cover my planets, aka my pimples, <laughs> then keep watching. Okay, so to start off, I used um, some moisturizer. The kind that I use is um, Neutrogena. I'll have to put it below, I can't remember. I don't have it with me, but it's for acne. Um, and I've been using it, and it was working pretty good, but it's that time. So as you can see, I have... I'm going to have this one down here. It's really dirty nuts, but... Alright, so I'm starting off using um, Smashbox Photo Finish. I have this primer the color correcting of just I've had this for a long time you don't have to use a whole lot I mean that's like even like too much and I didn't need all that but um, it's kinda hard because it is pretty much empty so I've been having to like squeeze it really hard so yeah but um, really a dab will do ya pretty good so I have been using this foundation for half a year now? No. I think I started using it either in November of last year or January of um, this year. But it is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation Broad Spectrum SPF 15. And I absolutely adore this foundation. I got it at Sephora. I want to say it's around $30. But um, I get it in medium beige. It says 12 hour makeup, oil free makeup. Um, when I wear primer and I usually contour anyways, but I notice it does last pretty, pretty long. So I would say it definitely lasts at least 12 hours. So not the best way to do it but it's just how I do it and it works okay for me I just take it in splotches I squeeze a little bit you don't want to get too much because um, kind of like with the primer a little bit can go pretty far and even if you like right there even if you do too little you can put more back on where if you have to, when you have too much, that sucks, so. Now I'm looking up, so it's up, okay. And then you just blend it all together. Now, the brushes I use, I don't have fancy brushes <laughs> Um, one day. This brush I'm using, I got in a kit, and, um, I got it off eBay. The whole reason I bought this kit was because um, it was another YouTuber that I watch. Um, used to watch. She actually doesn't have a channel anymore. Um, she talked about them. They're like Sigma Sigma dupes, but they're called Style Master, and I got them pretty cheap off eBay. I don't remember how many there was. Maybe twelve. Um, and it's not the big pink one that I got off of eBay that I talked about in my favorites video. It's a different one. So, once you're good and covered, see, like, I look a little ghostly, but see that I look a lot more put together and I don't look as, um, I'm not as red as the foundation part. I need to get some new concealer. Um, I've just been using Maybelline 20 Sand, the Fit Me concealer. And I just dab this in all my problem areas. This one right here is a big problem area. Need some heavy duty help in that one. Now, so you're supposed to put concealer on 
before I lay the foundation, technically. But I do it after because it helps me see where I could use some extra help. And you just beauty blend them out. Now, if you wanted to just do this um, and didn't want to go into any highlighting or contouring, um, this would be fine. You could put a little bronzer on and some blush um, if you wanted to add some color, but honestly, you could go out on just this and it would help hide your acne and any imperfections that you had, but um, it is still, it's not the look that I do. Um, this is like a natural <laughs> look for me, even though it's not natural because I had makeup on. Um, but this is a very, very, very natural, like practically naked look for me. Um, and I like to have some color. I like to have some definition in um, the way I do it for me. And I'm not saying that's what you have to do or that you have to do the rest of these steps um, to get a acne coverage um, routine. But this is just what I do. So, yeah. I go in with my Dream Lumi, I go down the bridge of my nose, up this area, under my eye, triangle, well it's actually not even really a triangle because I don't bring it down here. I make my point here and then I start going up. And swirl it up. And then blend all this with the Beauty Blender. I'm going to go in with my Remo London Stay Matte in 004 Sandstorm. And I'm going in with my e.l.f. powder brush. I always want to say blush for some reason. Find that matte, um, having a matte face for me, um, at least underneath like shimmer. Um, helps because I don't always have oily skin. I would assume I, it's more combination, but um, usually when people have combination, that means you have both at the same time, where sometimes I'm oily, and then other times I'm dry, but I'm hardly ever both, like at the same time, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know, when we were in beauty school, they described it as like, oily, or combination skin was like, you'd be like oily in your t-zone with like dry patches and I either have oily skin or I have dry skin if that makes sense I'm gonna go in with my bronzer hard candy so I baked bronzer in 130 tropics I really need to get some new bronzer I use like the same stuff every day <laughs> so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna contour with your bronzer so, outer corner of the forehead, along my jawline, to down my nose, okay now it's time for the blush, I'm using NARS um, in Orgasm. to wear blush if you have acne. That is something I used to struggle with, especially in high school. I'd always wear bronzer and never wore blush because I'm like, I have acne. I have red skin. And why would I want to wear something with pinkish tones? Um, you know, I'm trying to get rid of <laughs> the pink tones. And um, so I never really started wearing um, blush until out of high school, you know, when I start learning more stuff um, or start learning more about makeup. And as long as you conceal with your foundation the redness of your acne, then whatever blush you use should work. Now, you want to make sure you don't do um, a super, like, rosy reddish color blush because that might, not for every skin tone, but it would, for mine, it would make um, my acne probably stand out more. But the very pinkish, light, um... You know, cutesy pink blushes I find that it works fine with my skin and if you ever do splurge 
Orgasm by NARS, the blush I have on right now, looks good on pretty much every type of skin tone. I have yet to see it not look good. You have tried it and you don't like it, let me know because I want to hear about it. So yeah, that was my full coverage of acne foundation routine. If you found it helpful or um, you do something similar or you thought it was awful, let me know. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And do not forget to subscribe to watch more videos from me. And yeah, I think that's everything. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye!